CBS 46 is fighting for our vets and getting results for a local veteran who says he's been waiting for his medical records for months. But as our Bobreth Yates shows us, when we got involved, he got the documents. Minutes. This all it took was us walking into the building and getting a signed release to get our hands on the documents the vet has been waiting on for months. I've been waiting for the, this paper to be signed since May the 20th of this year. Veteran Robert Pollard needed his mental health evaluation records to complete his VA benefits application. He says it's necessary to get help with his PTSD, but says the private psychiatrist he saw wouldn't release them. I'm at the point of a real crossroad just trying to expedite two sheets of paper. <laughs> and he already evaluated me. Pollard says he made multiple trips to the doctor's office and signed the necessary release forms, but was unable to get the documents sent to his attorney to complete his benefits application. It's like a stalemate. Without this, I would not, like I said, I have no percentage right now because this is the main thing that is needed in my in my files, this evaluation. So we went to the doctor's office to see what was the holdup. And it turns out they attempted to mail the documents to Pollard, but had the wrong address. And after being provided a new form authorizing the release of the medical records, they faxed the documents to Pollard's attorney and gave us a copy. Thank you, because I have been waiting and, uh, and I've been patient. Again, the doctor's office says they made multiple attempts to release the documents, but it wasn't until we got involved that it was finally done. Fighting for our vets, Bobeth Yates, CBS 46 News. Great job, Bobeth. Remember, you can reach out to CBS 46 if you or a veteran you know is in need of help. Just email us at fightingforourvets at cbs46.com.